Hi, in this video, I'm going to talk about how to add a new blog post to your WordPress website. On your dashboard, you will see at the top, there's this new icon, the plus new icon. You can hover your mouse to new post, but typically what we do is go to the left side of the screen, go to post, hover your mouse to old post. Add a new one by clicking this add new button at the top. But there is a better and easier way to do that. It's by duplicating or copying a new, uh, an existing blog post that you have. How to do that? Go to the list, tick the box of that uh, post that you want to copy the elements from, press clone. Okay, so once it's cloned, you are going to see to another post. But make sure you are going to edit the one with draft message on its side. Check the last modified date and hour. Make sure it's the most current so that you will not mess up the other uh, blog post that you have. You can now go to edit. Once you edit, this new blog post can now be changed. You can change the title. Once you change the title, make sure that you edit the URL also. Do not forget uh, the dashes in between words. Then press OK. Once it's OK, go down. You will see that this WP Bakery Page Builder plugin that we added to your site. We use this because it's, more, it's the most ideal plugin. It will allow us to make changes to your site uh, very easily. It will show us the exact element layout that you are going to see from the front end. That will be the same layout uh, that we are going to see at the back end. Let's say we want to check this out. Open to a new tab. This is what you're going to see uh, on the front end. Check from the dashboard again. That would, be, that would be the exact layout content. If you want to change the alignment or the location of the elements, you can drag it. Just this uh, uh, four arrows uh, icon. You can drag it anywhere you want to go. You can also edit that content by hovering your mouse to that element, go to that pencil icon. You can now make changes to the content. You can uh, make a header or a paragraph. You can change the style to bold, italize, or add a new code, bulleted or numbered list, change the alignment left, centered, and right, add an insert link by highlighting the relevant word, then pressing the icon, paste the URL, and then press apply. Once you added a new link or a hyperlink, it will then redirect your audience to a new attachment or to a new page that you want to show. This uh, the thing would allow you also to add new media. Click the add new media, you may upload new files from your PC or choose from the media library uh, the existing files that you have. Once you chose a new file, a new media, you can insert that into uh, the post, press close it, and then you can change it. You can save it also if you're happy already. Once you save it, uh, it will be added here, all the changes that you made. If you want to add a new element, go to plus icon. This will be the list of the new elements that you can add. If you're going to add a new text block or a new element, that would be uh, listed initially at the bottom of that post, and you can drag it again to a new place you want to show it. If you're happy with the changes that you've made to this new blog post, you can publish it right away, or you can save it as draft, preview it, or publish it in a later date, just the new date and the timings, press OK, and then publish. That's how you add a new blog post to your, uh, to your WordPress website.